A Louisville officer had a sexual relationship with a 15 year old girl, talked about it on tape and pleaded guilty in 1996, according to court records from the time. And 26 years later, that officer, Todd Walls, continues to work in law enforcement, now as a deputy with Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Tonight, WDRB investigates Gilbert Corsi and photojournalist Stuart Hammer explore the loopholes that allowed it to happen and why a new state law meant to bring change may not work. Every story has chapters, main characters, recurring themes. Disgusting. Disgusting. This is the story of House Bill 206. Decertify law enforcement officers found guilty of committing certain sex crimes. This is long overdue. And Todd Walls. What a monster. Is the main character. I feel like my silence has allowed him to feel entitled to keep a position in law enforcement. And I want to make the record very clear. He raped me. He took advantage of me. He committed crimes against a child. We're not identifying this woman. She's the victim of a child sex crime. Police records we obtained confirm she was 15 years old and having a sexual relationship with then Louisville police officer Todd Walls. It's taken 26 years for her to tell this story. I was a child um, in a very grown up situation and um, you grow up really quickly. You know, I, I, I wasn't allowed to have a childhood because I was involved with an adult and it's wrong. May 1996. Police charge Walls with first and third degree rape, sodomy and unlawful transaction with the minor. These charges came about as a result of a warrant that was taken by the victim's mother in conjunction with a Crimes Against Children's Unit investigation. The arrest citation says the victim passed out after drinking with Walls and woke up to find him having sexual intercourse with her. She was 15, he was about 28. The documents say they had sex several times in the course of nine months. He would come to my house, my mom's house, while she was at work. WDRB obtained the Crimes Against Children's police file, 73 pages, much of it too graphic to air. It includes a transcript of a phone call the detectives recorded between Walls and the teenager as they discussed their sex life. She asked, was I good in bed for a 15-year-old girl? Walls responds, heck yeah. That really was a situation to happen to a kid. And I've thought about it several times throughout the years. She says Walls befriended her at age 14 when he took her into custody, that their intimate relationship was not forced, but that she was a troubled teen and not old enough to consent. She told investigators, quote, he just used me. She now believes the justice system failed her. I just don't think that they cared enough about me to make sure this guy never served. Walls quit Louisville police and cut a quick plea deal. All felonies went away. Court records from the time show he pleaded guilty to one misdemeanor count of sexual misconduct. He served two years probation and paid a $65 fine. Then went back to his law enforcement career, working in Taylorsville, even serving as police chief in West Butchel. Sexual assaults are some of the hardest to prosecute and to um, investigate. And so oftentimes the things that you know, your viewers may see as pretty heinous sexual assault crimes get pled down to or even just charged as misdemeanors. And a misdemeanor conviction doesn't preclude someone from becoming a police officer in the state. Representative Rachel Roberts survived child sex abuse. She sponsored House Bill 206. There was a loophole in our law. It now requires the Kentucky Law Enforcement Council to decertify officers convicted of misdemeanor sex crimes. No license, no job. There are certain crimes that we as a society have to say, no, this is too egregious. This is too violent. This is too bad of a crime. The bipartisan bill passed unanimously in the last legislative session and took effect last month, but it may not work. What about expungement? 
So if an officer has their record expunged, are they meant to be removed or decertified under this bill? Gilbert, I can't answer that. Wall's attorney says in 2015, the officer's record was expunged, wiped from the court's history with a judge's order. That can't happen anymore. Sex crimes of any kind or those involving a child are no longer eligible for expungement in Kentucky. It may very well be that there are other parts of this bill that we'll need to address in the future, but the the underlying purpose of the bill stands. Walls is not the only officer with this in his history. 206 is part of a series of bills passed by the legislature in recent years to force out officers who shame the badge. New measures require departments to report those who quit under investigation and bolster the power of the Kentucky Law Enforcement Council to more easily revoke the certifications of officers who broke the law. All for it, 100%. Yeah, they need to get rid of the people that are bad. The Justice and Public Safety Cabinet told WDRB KLEC can decertify officers under House Bill 206, even if the criminal record is expunged. KLEC also told police chiefs and sheriffs throughout the state to notify the agency there's an officer with a misdemeanor sex crime on their staff. That brings to light a very big question, does the Kentucky Clean Slate Law, which is expungement falls under, does it outweigh the new HB 206 or vice versa? In 2020, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office hired Todd Walls. What would you say to all the chiefs and cities that have hired him throughout the years? Why? Why? That's part two of our story. I mean, you can give us a bloody nose on this, Gil, and there's no way to put a uh, smile on it for us. Thursday, WDRB News. Wall's attorney declined our requests for interviews. If you have information about this story or any story you think our Investigates team should look into, you can email us at investigate at WDRB.com or call 502-322-1297.